Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite rental properties. We're gonna walk through it. I'm gonna talk about how I bought it, how I fixed it up, and what my plans are with it now. We bought this house because we put an ad on Nextdoor app, basically saying, hey, we're looking for fixer upper houses. Let us know if you have any houses that you need to sell, or if you have anyone that wants to sell that you can refer us to. So they ended up reaching out to us, gave us a call, and we came and looked at the house after gathering some basic information about it. So the condition of the house was actually not horrible. It was a lot of cosmetic stuff compared to what I've done in the past, big foundation problems, siding, windows, roof, like big ticket items. Those were actually pretty fine. So this is one of my favorite deals because it was a strictly pure cosmetic. We did paint, we did flooring, a little bit of light fixtures and then kitchens and bathroom updates and that was it. So this is a really fun and easy one. So after the seller reached out to us, we came and looked at the property. We did a whole walkthrough. We ran our numbers, same as we always do, on our spreadsheet, write down everything that needs to be updated, figure out what we want to make on the property and make our offer. So we made our offer. They had to think about it a, a day or two and they got back to me and we ultimately settled on a purchase price. I don't think it was exactly what we offered, but it was pretty close. And so from then on, it's actually pretty easy. You just bring your purchase agreement to the title company and you wait to close. So in this video, I thought we could walk around the house. I could point out a little bit of how it was, do some before and after pictures and just kind of take it room by room and show you guys exactly what we were working with before and how it ended up after. So we completely updated the kitchen. As you can see, new cabinets, new hardware, and quartz countertops. So that's one huge thing. If you can put in quartz countertops, it gives it a little bit more of a luxurious feel. And up until a couple houses ago, I've been doing mostly just laminate. I mean, it looks like quartz, but you can kind of tell. But this just adds a nice extra feature. And we tried to make it have like a more open feel with these upper cabinets. We took the cabinets down and we just put these upper shelves in. To kind of, it is kind of a smaller kitchen, so we wanted to make it feel a little bit bigger. And I think we did that with, with the uh, shelving instead of the uppers. So we painted all the trim, all the doors, and all the floors are brand new to all luxury vinyl plank or carpet upstairs. So this is the main bedroom on the main floor. It's got two doors and it's got an ensuite bathroom, a little half bath here. And enough to fit a good sized bed, tons of natural light with all these windows. The last owner had actually done the siding, the windows, and the roof. So they had put in a lot there, but they just didn't get the rest of the inside done, which was all the cosmetic stuff. So as you can see, the, the vinyl plank goes throughout the whole home and there's no transition strips. So there's basically seamless luxury vinyl plank everywhere. And it's really nice. It kind of just ties it all together and it goes well with the same paint that we use in every house, the agreeable gray, the same or similar flooring and trim color and everything. So upstairs we have two bedrooms and one bathroom. So we completely redid the bathroom. It's a new tub, new flooring, new toilet, and new vanity, mirror, light fixture, all that stuff. So we basically top to bottom, we redid a lot of the bathroom, the kitchen, and then flooring and paint through the whole house. And the exterior is super cool too. It has seamless steel siding, newer windows, newer roof, and a great patio space and the furnace and AC are newer too. So this one was really a really great project for us and it's really easy to sell when you're ready to sell it or rent it out when you're ready to rent. So we went through the whole process of fixing it up and we rented it out for a year and now we're ready to sell it. And so it's sold and it's actually being closed. I think it's on the 21st of June. So that whole process, we bought it, we fixed it up and now we're selling it, the whole lifespan of the property. And that happened over the course of two years. So that's the video. I hope you enjoyed the before and afters. Thanks for watching till the end. And if you're interested in more like this, check out my channel. We also have the in-depth numbers for the investment side of things for this property and all of our other properties. See you on the next one.